أما يستر بس يا عمر أما قال الله تعالى في كتابه وأمر بالموب وأمر بالعرض معروف ونها عن المكر نعم والله سبحانه وتعالى ساز وأمر بالمعروف وأعرض عن الجاهلين والله تبرى وتعالى ساز كما وذا which is good كما وذا which is good and he says turn away from those who are ignorant once Abu al-Khattar رضي الله عنه stood up and heard that sat down once he heard the ayah of Allah تبرى وتعالى he was basically coming at the man soon as he heard the ayah he says, oh, 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 once he said the ayah, and he said the ayah to Umar, Umar stopped. Stopped what he was doing. And he sat down. And this is what the Salaf used to do when Kana Umar al-Khattar wa qafin in the kitab Allah. As Umar used to stop when he heard the ayahs of Allah. Didn't used to move. Sat down. Now, this is what goes back to Aqeedah. If you fear Allah, you're not going to do it. Somebody say, fear Allah, you're not supposed to hit a Muslim in the face because you've learned your aqidah and you fear Allah. Sit down. Sit down. What's going to stop a woman from poisoning his husband's drink, her husband's drink? What's going to stop a Muslim? What's going to stop a Muslim from cheating another Muslim? Fear of Allah, it goes back to aqidah. It all goes back to aqidah. Everything goes back to aqidah. What's the also? It goes back to your heart. You fear Allah, this is what's going to stop you from doing all these evil crimes. So learn this aqeed. What's the use of teaching people ahadith, ayat of Allah, fear Allah? People don't know what it means. Huh? I have my ayat of Allah, fear Allah, I hear that all day. What's the meaning of that? Who cares? Once you know your Lord of Allah, Taala, all these problems start to be solved. Everything starts to fall in place. Tayyip. I basically wanted to give evidence of there's people who deny the three principles of tawheed. As we all know, that tawheed Breaks down into three different types of categories. Tawheed al rububiya with Tawheed al uluhiya with Asma wa Sifat. Right? Everybody knows that, inshallah, everybody knows that. There's people out there that says, why you break this down into three different types of categories? We don't need that. We can worship Allah without those three types of categories. What's your evidence to show that the basically Tawheed breaks down into three different types of categories? What's your evidence? Show us from the Kitab Allah. Show us from the scholars of the past. Is there anybody who used to believe in these three type of categories of Tawheed? Hamza Yusuf says we can learn Aqeedah in 10 minutes. MashaAllah. There's a lot of people that say that the Tawheed al hakimi of Allah Tabarqa Ta'ala, for example, La Hakima illa lillah. For example, Tawheed al Uluhiya, the Tawheed al Rububiya. Everybody know about the Tawheed al Rububiya. Allah Tabarqa Ta'ala says in the book, When I insult to man khalqa samawati wal arla yakulan Allah. Everybody knows about Allah Ta'ala, about your natural disposition to be a human being. I don't care, there's no human being out there except they believe there's a, there's a guy. I don't care who it is. Even an atheist believes there's a guy. I don't care. All you gotta do is look at yourself. You can't look at yourself, you can't look at your eyes. I'm gonna give him my eyes so he can see, a mouth so he can talk, legs so he can walk on, hands so he can touch. Isn't that planned out? Just like you see this cut, this pal, this matched it, I'm gonna put a door right there, I'm gonna put a speaker right there, I'm gonna put a room up there, and I'm gonna put somebody playing that out. If I said to you right now, this matched it just fell out of somewhere, nobody designed it, what would you say to me? You look like me, I was like an idiot. You said you're stupid, you're crazy. Right or wrong? You said you're crazy, you're stupid. Nobody designed this building, it just fell out of nowhere. Big bang, the big bang as they say it. So I'm asking you right now, somebody, if you believe this matched it was built by a human being, look at yourself, look at your eyes, look at your hands. The eyes is going to go right there so we can see. The mouth is going to be here so we can communicate. His arms are going to be here so I can give him so we can talk and feel. Doesn't that show that as Allah Ta'ala playing that out? Huh? Every human being believes there's a God. Every human being. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِقْهُولًا اللَّهِ If you used to ask them, who is the creator of the heavens and earth? They say Allah. Tight. Tawheed al rububi is no problem. We put down the side for a second. The problem was, is what? The problem of what the messages were sent to wasn't that every, nobody believed in God, as people try to prove these days. During the time the Prophet said they believed there was Allah. That wasn't the problem. The problem was where? It was in the Uluhiyah. It was trying to get the people to worship Allah. That was the problem. Trying to get them to focus on their worship of Allah. Now here comes some people in these days at times, politic, 
political, basically people try to make it political. They say Tawheed of Allah, La ilaha illallah means La hakima illallah. There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. There's no hakim, there's no ruler except Allah. That's what Tawheed al hakimiyah means. I'm going to tell y'all what Tawheed al hakimiyah means. Everybody knows that La ilaha illallah means what? There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. That's what agrees with the Quran. The Quran from the beginning to the end is a Tawheed. Ibn Qayyim and Shaykh al-Islam tell me much it. So from the beginning, from Surah Al-Fatiha all to Surah Al-Nas, all of it is a Tawheed. All of it. From the beginning to the end of the Quran is a Tawheed. How is it a Tawheed? Verily, for example, which is what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls everything. As far as what? Tawheed al-Rububi, Tawheed al-Uliya, Tawheed al-Sma wa Sifat. Fine. We know that's from Tawheed. Either it's going to tell you of a story of the prophets. What? Or those who came before you and their repayment they had in the dunya. For them either being guided by obeying Allah from being what? Found the Tawheed. Or being what? From the people that have doors of the hellfire. From going against what? Worshipping Allah alone. Or you have that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed which is halal and haram. Which is impermissible. And which is permissible. And all of that is what? From the rights of Tawheed. All of it. So the whole Quran from beginning to end is a Tawheed. Tawheed. Now you have people that says, Ma'na la ilaha illallah. There's no God worthy of worship except Allah. Means there's no hakim, there's no ruler except Allah. There was no ulama from the past that ever came with this type of tafsir. None of them. If you say that la hakim illallah, basically you're flipping the meaning of there's no God worthy of worship except Allah and you're making it into tawheed or rububiyya. For example, la raziqa illallah. La hakima illallah. Basically, what you're saying is now, la abida illallah. There's no worshiper except Allah. That's the meaning of Tawheed al Hakimiyah. That's the meaning of Tawheed al Hakimiyah. Now you're flipping the script to what? So now the people can start worshiping other than Allah. Let's say, people, for example, if I was to make a Jew to this tree right here, I start to pray to this tree. And I'll say to them, this is the type of foolish plans that the people are trying to use in order to call you to hell. They'll say, for example, La hakimi illallah. Or for example, I can break sujood to that tree. On the condition that I don't think that it has, it doesn't basically benefit, cause me any benefit or take away some type of harm. As long as I don't have that in my heart. That's the kind of life that the people are going to play in your mind. That was no problem. Even in the time. So now you come with a tafsir, even Abu Jahl, even Abu Jahl, and all the munafiqeen, Knew what the meaning of La ilaha illallah means. Means there's no God where they worship except Allah. That's why they say in the Quran, You make one, all these gods one God? This is something strange. They knew what? The meaning of La ilaha illallah is no God where they worship except Allah. They know what it means. Time. Now you want to come, there's no rule except Allah to ta'ala. You're saying now there's no slave except Allah to ta'ala. Tafsir is batal. It's false. The problem now is they make Tawheed al Put that under my foot. We don't need that. Make it just Rububiya. Tell the people about God and that's it. That's all the people need to know. So, thank for what the Prophet used to do for 13 years straight. Call to what? Call to the worship of Allah. That's the thing that's going to basically keep from people from going into hellfire. Thank Well, listen to this book and these points that I'm going to make to show you that some people that are Salaf talked about Tawheed al but they have three categories and it breaks down. Listen to it. As I'm going to give you the example right now. From the people that sell it, that say Tawheed breaks down into three types, even the people of Al-Bidr make their Tawheed three types. There's a person that says Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah. He's the first person that started the three type of categories of Tawheed. Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah said Tawheed breaks down into three types. Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah, Tawheed al-Rubiyyah, wa asma wa sifat right? person will come to say, prick from a scar from the past that breaks down these types of categories in the Tawheed and the three different types of categories. Is there any? Time. I'm going to read from you just some evidence. Listen to what Ibn Battah says. Abi Abdullah, Ubaidullah, Ibn Muhammad, Ibn Battah, Al-Abkiri. Al-Akbari, who died 300, 387 of the Hijrah, which is between him and Shaykh al-Islam, how many years? About what? 600? 700 years, 600 years.